Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. If you're new here, you didn't miss much, this is my first video. I'll be making content about productivity and anything that is related to it, so if you're interested in this kind of content, feel free to subscribe. In today's video, we're going to talk about everything you need for your iPad. So if you just got an iPad or thinking about getting one and don't know what accessories to buy, this is the video for you. Keep in mind that I got accessories for my iPad Air 4, but they are also available for the iPad Pro and other models as well. I'll include links and details in the description, so feel free to check them out. The first thing you need to get is a screen protector, because you don't want to go around scratching the screen of your iPad. You have two options. It really depends on how you're gonna use your iPad. You can either go for a tempered glass screen protector or for a matte one. My first buy was this tempered glass screen protector. I got it the day I got my iPad. It was an urgent buy for a quick protection, but I was really surprised at the quality, especially for the price. It includes two tempered glass screen protectors and an iPad case. Here's the iPad case that comes with it. It's of a really good quality for the price. It's a good buy if you're looking for a good protection only. However, if you're a heavy note taker and you want to improve your writing experience and make it feel close to writing on paper, I would recommend a matte screen protector. It's so much better with the Apple Pencil and the difference was so remarkable for me. I would recommend the screen protector from Paperlike. It's a bit expensive, but if you're willing to put that much money on a screen protector, then go for it. I am not ready to spend that much after all what I spent on iPad accessories, so I bought this one from AliExpress and it's, oh, it's perfect. I'm satisfied with it, it feels like paper and it makes that satisfying sound and all. I guess for the price the quality is really good and totally worth it. iPad is fragile and expensive so you want to make sure it's well protected. An iPad case is not optional so please do not take risks and get a case. I tried many cases that may inspire you to buy yours, I'll let you check them out.
if you'd like to use your iPad as a laptop, you'd want to get a mouse and a keyboard. I got this case, which comes with a really cute mouse and this amazing keyboard. I mean, look at this keyboard. It's just so cute and neat. The quality is actually too good for the price. It's also so thin. You can see how thin it is. And it's pretty light. You can drag it with you everywhere. Same thing goes for the mouse. It's light and of a really good quality. I just love the color that I chose. Let me try the whole thing on for you. The keyboard sticks magnetically to the case, so you don't have to worry about it slipping because, you know, a lightweight. The mouse and the keyboard can be easily linked to the iPad and the whole set is very practical. I love the touch of the keys of this keyboard. So again, the mouse and the keyboard are totally optional. It really depends on your needs. I personally don't use them a lot, so it really depends on you. I also got an Apple Pencil with my iPad. Do you need an Apple Pencil? Well, it really depends on how you want to use your iPad. If you're gonna use it as a phone with a big screen and no you do not need it but if you want to use it for notes taking or drawing then hell yeah you need an apple pencil you're not gonna write or draw with your hands that is just out of question if you can afford it it's better to get the apple pencil second generation it's very practical it charges on the side of the iPad so you don't have to plug it anywhere but the first generation is all right as well the difference between them is basically the charging way there exists some alternatives that are cheaper but I would recommend going for an Apple pencil because you don't want to go wrong with your iPad pencil especially if especially that you'll probably use it every day. So it's really important to have something practical and comfortable to use. Since this thing is not cheap, I'd recommend protecting it as well. You can get a silicone case for it pretty cheap online. I got this one on AliExpress. The purpose of the case is to improve your writing experience, especially that the Apple Pencil has rounded edges so the case will give you a better grip and more control of your pencil. I also got multiple cases for my AirPods, as I found them pretty cheap. I'll let you check them out.
So that's it for today's video. If you like it, please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. If you have any questions, please do not hesitate to leave them in the comments below. You can also follow me on Instagram for more content. Thank you guys for watching and see you next time.